and this company has actually gave me an experience I need to do what I want and hopefully in the near future I'll be able to get work in that area because of these and talent match. Um, good evening everyone. Uh, firstly I'd like to thank the organisers of the event for inviting me along this evening. I really enjoyed my um, I really enjoyed myself and hearing of the achievements of the young people involved. This brings me on to congratulate those who are here this evening. It is clear that you've come a long way from when you started your journey with Talent Match. It is an honour to have been able to celebrate with you all this evening. As you may know, my chosen charities during my year as mayor focus on helping those with mental health difficulties. Mental health is something I feel passionately about and I fully support the work of those that ensure that Talent Match Northamptonshire remains a success and I'm very pleased that you have been able to expand to cover other areas of the county, Corby being one. Thank you again for having me, and thank you to the young people here who have worked so hard. I sincerely hope your future remains bright. It's always been thank about you. the continuing the journey of the theme, journey of the theme, the theme of the journey. <laughs> um, so the success of Talent Match Northamptonshire is basically down to lottery funding. So they received just under a million pounds to deliver Talent Match over five years. And it's the lottery players, if you play the lottery, you do scratch cards, that you make this type of programme possible. So please, it's just uh, keep playing so we can continue <laughs> to programmes like this. So when we started Talent Match, the young person unemployment was about 1.5 million. At today's date, it's approximately about 700,000. So have we solved youth unemployment? Well, the clear answer to that is no. But we know through Talent Match what works, and in particular that we know for young people to have a trusted place and a trusted person to go to is key to the success. I think we've heard tonight about the amount of times I've heard Josh and Sarah mentioned, not just tonight but throughout the Talent Match and the other coaches as well, they are massively important in these young people's lives. So if we can just give a collective round of applause for them. shelf interventions such as the work program don't work. For many of the young people on Talent Match they've come with multiple and complex needs and these take time, empathy and passion to begin to address. The flexibility of the Talent Match program allows these young people to move along their journey at their own pace and when they want to. We also know that young people have to be involved at every stage of the process. So Big Lottery Fund now under its new ethos is all about people in the lead and Talent Match in Northamptonshire has continually demonstrated how to put young people at the heart of what it does. To make this a true success, there has to be a transfer of power. Young people have to do something they couldn't do before. They have to be listened to and evidence that they've been heard. And there has to be a co-production of outcomes relevant to both parties. If we incorporate the above into programme design, future programme designs around young people, youth unemployment programmes, we have a chance of reducing the inequality and trying to break the inverse care law, stating that those who are most in need get it the least. I think as you've heard tonight, Talent Match is built on individual stories. You may not remember that collectively over the 21 partnership, Talent Match has helped nearly 23,000 young people. You may not remember that Talent Match has helped nearly 6,000 young people find work. What you will remember is the stories that Ash has told us, gaining more confidence from teamwork, the stories shared by Alice and Logan, especially around their champion, Sarah, and also they may even produce the first Talent Match baby. So <laughs> so for the success of the Talent Match to continue, this is a bit of a call out to the sector to ensure that no young person from North Hampshire is left behind. So I can only encourage you, if you're looking to help young people who are most in need within North Hampshire, is to speak to representatives from the Northamptonshire Partnership to find out what works. If you visit the Big Lottery Fund website, there will be shortly there'll be a document on there about what we found from Talent Match collectively over 21 partnerships. And also we're working closely with government on the youth strand of the Dawn accounts that's just been launched, which will be another nice <coughs> million pound investment into effectively youth unemployment. Um, before I finish tonight, I'd just like to give you a quick quote, and it's, we make a living by what we get, but a life from what we give. And I think you would all agree that Talent Match Northamptonshire continues to give and continues to make life 
to the people most, the young people most in need. On Twitter this week, Thank you. there's been a lot of chatter about soft subjects and that the creative industries and, and the arts and what we do at Roland Dungate is part of those soft subjects. And actually, I just wanted to say tonight that in no way are the young people we're celebrating this evening um, demonstrating softness. They're demonstrating uh, a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of dedication, a lot of motivation. And we were incredibly proud to have them at Roland Derngate. Um, there is nothing soft about a dancer or musician uh, training for hours and hours in order to uh, hone their craft. Or a digital designer or, or a filmmaker spending hours in tiny little details to make visionary, imaginative work. They're superheroes. And Erica and I actually have the honour to work with superheroes every single day. And I have to say that having met the talent match young people and their champions on that industry day, on that mystery tour of yours, that actually I could see the superheroes of the future. And it's up to all of us and across all industries to actually support these young people in making sure that they understand they are superheroes and they are the leaders of our future. And, uh, and I would like to say a huge congratulations to everyone involved in Talent Match because this is a very, very special project that we have had a very tiny part of and we're very, very proud of that. So well done. Thank you.